to blood acid oil with poly and birth. Today's topic is genitals. Stay tuned. I have a hand in my pants. Something in love. Oh, out. Well, well, stop standing oh. in it. Just stop biting me. Just move to the left oh. or to the right. I don't know why you're still standing in it. Just stop working. Just move. One oh. foot to the left or to the right. I don't know. Welcome to episode three. <laughs> Welcome to episode three of Blood Ash and Oil. <laughs> what did you think of our new intro? That was fantastic. <laughs> it was so unexpected. I know. I had no idea. Uh, I've been amazing. so excited about playing that for you and and uh, my cousin who uh, helped me do that. We did that live over Skype, over so GarageBand. So one of them is you and one of them is him? Yeah. Okay. There's two people in the audio, and they're like, you know, I have ants in my pants, and he's telling me to get off the ant pile. And we is, just is improvised. Thing? No, no, we just improvised a thing. Like, I wanted, I, I, I wanted the intro to be like, like, like goofy dance music, like European dance music. Yeah. And then I thought of the idea of coming in, coming in with the German accent. <laughs> Welcome to Blood Ash and Oil. <laughs> so, so, uh, and then he threw in the, um, uh, what he did. So, uh, anyway, thank you, Jimmy, for the, for the intro. Uh, what are we doing today? I'm excited about this one. Yeah. Okay. But, Announcement first, while we were waiting to start recording, I got an email from Apple that our show has been approved and will be in Apple Podcasts in a few hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. so when we release this on YouTube... It'll also be on Apple Podcasts and Stitcher and as well whatnot. as well as our other episodes too. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna triple check that we're recording. Yeah, I was going to do that. And, and on the the thing, but yeah, we got that while we were sitting here setting up, and I let out a little squeal, and it would have been fun had that been yeah. on the recording. We, we weren't recording though. But we weren't recording. And we got him. But what timing? I know. As That's we're going great. to record the next one. Oh, oh, Sable's, Sable's, Sable's running. running on upstairs. She's doing <laughs> laps. So I, I'm really excited about this um, about this episode, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, because, as you can see from the thumbnail, I'm excited about the genitals. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you so, want this? Yeah, I'm going to do this. Okay. Uh, so what did we do? We asked people on a couple of, like, Tattoo forums. Yeah, to yeah. send us stories about them getting their genitals tattooed, tattooing genitals, just anything related or, or to genitals. Genital modification, because piercings. That's, that's like one of the biggest questions that people ask me and probably all tattooists. Like that's like you're sitting there for two hours and eventually, eventually they somebody goes, like, have you ever had to tattoo anybody's dick? You know, yeah, they yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah. And um so we'll get into that. Um, oh, I think Sable's TV froze. Yep. Uh oh. She's screaming upstairs. She's yelling at us and pointing at the TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to do you want to pause the, the video? Uh, Let's just pause the video yeah. and then we'll come back. Okay. okay we, Wait. Oh. One, uh. two, three. Okay, we're back. Sorry. I know that was so long for you guys. <laughs> um. Anyway, so I'm I'm excited about. I've been excited about this one. Of course, you're it's, a man. It's, what? No, I mean, it's just new. <laughs> you just can't wait to talk about genitals. It's just new, you know. <laughs> it's so. It's <laughs> the first time people have given us stories. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm excited fun about to have it. audience participation. So we, you know, like we said, that we don't need to go over. So we have these, <laughs> we have these uh, uh, stories that people gave us, and I kind of skimmed them a little bit, but I didn't want to get any information I haven't um, read them at all. Yeah, so um, so we're going to go through these one by one and then uh, see what you guys think. 
So what's what's the first one? Who, who's the first one? Okay, from? Anthony Cicero. He said okay. he's at uh, Atmosphere with us, and we're gonna bring up his Instagram. Yep. In wait, wait, three, two, one. Da -da. Ding. Okay, we gotta make sure our heads don't hit, hit it because it's real okay. sharp. It's real sharp right here. <laughs> so. Don't need any head wound, head wounds. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there was this in. I'm just reading this verbatim, yeah. whatever they wrote. I don't even know what they wrote, so we'll see, this. we'll see where this takes us. There was this drunk couple that came into Eternal Flame Tattoo in Aurora when I was an apprentice but able to tattoo simple shit. Well, this lady asked if she could get the word diamond above her box. Printed letters. <laughs> <laughs> I, like how you use I like how you use the word box. Uh, well, he used the word box. Told yeah, yeah. her, awesome, no problem. My first old drunk lady snatch tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, we took the money up front, so they paid one fifty for the pain and suffering and the tattoo. She comes upstairs, drops her fucking pants, and flops on the chair like a wet slug. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like a wet slug. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I, I am loving this colorful description what? of everything. <laughs> A wet slug, <laughs> just just flops. slowly flops like a wet slug. Just slowly slips. Oh my! Oh my God! God. So wait, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa! I read the wait, next wait, sentence wait, wait, and I didn't on. say it. And whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait. whoa! So, so the, uh, read the sentence before. So they, she dropped trowel to totally. She comes upstairs, drops her fucking pants, and flops on the chair like a wet slug. Spreads her legs and said, "Fuck me up." Whoa, well, that's aggressive. Where'd this hat come from? Sorry. <laughs> well, as I'm blasted with the overwhelming whiskey BO scent, Ooh. I see a blur of letters right above her hood. As I creep closer, I see that she already has the word diamond <laughs> about 200 <laughs> above her box. <laughs> so this is like this is the thing she does when she gets drunk is she goes to a oh tattoo shop god. and gets diamond tattooed above her box. Oh my god. I just sit there sort of baffled and ask, "So you want me to fix this tattoo?" Thinking I was mistaken downstairs as to what she wanted. Wait, did he have a stencil out and shit? Probably. He pro yeah, he probably had a stencil out. It's not like you set up and they're like all right let me see the box okay well, i'm gonna go draw it up yeah 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 <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> i need to see the box before i can do the yeah. drawing pizza Ooh, it's a cute pizza um thinking i was mistaken downstairs as to what she wanted oh no sweetheart put the new one below that one and leave the other one alone diamond diamond maybe it's like bling bling <laughs> oh my God. diamond diamond uh, fantastic. I put the stencil on and pour my black right before she, right before we start, she says, oh no, honey, I want every letter a different color. That's one of the lines I read. Long story short, I'm in this hot muff for about 45 minutes <laughs> to an hour. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> it is so annoying to have I'm to do a, hot muff. every other color, to not, to, to not Rinch state your... that. I, I, to not state that before well, you fucking do it. And then have it. to, I mean, he's probably ready. He has to get get all it that ink me, out now. It makes have me want to do this. There it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I found it. I had to use it from last. <laughs> I couldn't find it last that's time. The one that you're yeah, yeah, that's the sound. That's the sound. I think we're too close to the. the yeah, it's loud in my it's ears. Popping. It's popping. It's popping. We're popping. It's popping up We're in popping. Here. Okay, let's, uh, sorry, let's back I de off I of derailed. these. Sorry. Hopefully, hopefully the whole audio before this, it, it sounded loud the whole so time. So one anyway. every color. But but was the one above it I don't different think colors? So. Probably I don't not, so. right? Yeah. I see a blur of letters. It was a different font, obviously, because, you know, that she he didn't know. Well, no. It okay. could have been the same font. Anyway. Long story short, I'm in this hot muff for about 45 <laughs> minutes to an hour, still an apprentice, so still with the slow hand. You know what? That would suck as an apprentice to do that because you are slow as shit. And so any tattoo takes you a million times longer. So Speaking of face it, tattoos. It would <laughs> 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 so it would. That would be 
That would be a bad situation. Ugh. That that's a hard. It sucks tattooing in that area. While her drunk man bear is making out with her. Oh my goodness. How old was she? Whoa. How old is she? He keeps calling her a lady. Yeah. And they're a drunk couple, so it seems like there's no age, but she, it, old drunk lady. I'm thinking like older. Uh, 55. Let me, let me paint the picture. Yeah, yeah. No, 45, but like a, a rough, a rough 45. 45. <laughs> like, <laughs> like seen some miles. You know, smokes new ports, biker people, I'm guessing. Kind of crazy. She's wearing something way too revealing for her age, you know? Maybe not her just... age, maybe the state of her body. Right. Because 45 right. year old women can get down. Right. Have yeah, you if seen... you're fucking, if you're doing CrossFit. Uh, I wouldn't say CrossFit, I'd say Pilates and Botox. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Is that okay. The end of it? No. No. Okay. While her drunk man bear is making out with her while I'm down under, I finish the tattoo and basically shove them out the door. But the best part of the story is, as I walk them downstairs, dude turns around and says, "How much?" I said, "You paid already," which mm-hmm. he argues with me, saying he didn't. After a brief back and forth, I say one hundred dollars. He pays me again. Do you think that legit? Do you think that legit. he he knew and he was just like no because he would have just said <laughs> 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 he would have just said let me tip you he wouldn't have said let me pay That's you true. again. That's true. Somewhere out in this world, there's a nasty bitch with a stacked diamond diamond right above oh her love God. muff. How did end. he do it? I'm wondering how he did. Did he curve it? Did he curve it? Was it straight? Was it below or above does, the other one? Does that area... Yeah, it, he put the new one below it. Below it. So the other one was probably at that top line, and then he... You know. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder that area, how it ages. Did he have to shave it? Ooh, that's another great question. Oh, my God. How amazing. It seems like not, because she pulled down her pants, and there was already diamond there. And how he did amazing. say hot muff, and to me that means... <laughs> how amazing would it have been... Had he had to shave it, and as he was shaving it, the other word appeared. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be the greatest. Uh, like or, what? or or what? or or what if what he started? F- what if he started the tattoo and like this doesn't happen really? But then he realizes he has to shave more, so he's already got the diamond started, and then he shaves more, and then he realizes there's another diamond. <laughs> <laughs> hey, diamond in the rough. How did it? How did it hold up? Like, how does that area it hold up? Blur. Oh, Which, it's blur. I mean, if she's a rough lady and she got that done a while ago, it probably wasn't the best tattoo. Yeah. Okay, so that was a great one. That was amazing. That was fantastic. I've done that. I've tattooed, like, right above the cooter. The cooter? The oh. cooter. Could you have picked a I'm better just, word? No, I'm going to start picking words that I know. That will discuss. Cringe? No, just you. I don't care about that much. Just you. Just me. Um, I remember when I was working at Skin of a Different Color. I'm pretty sure this is the only box tattoo experience I have. Is a Hispanic woman that didn't really speak any English came in, and she said she wanted. She went to the rack, the the flash racks, and she pointed out like a tribal butterfly or some crab, and she said, "I, I, you know." She she pointed, and I'm like, oh, okay, like, you know, right above your jeans, and it just kept going low, lower. Like, she kept intimating, like, lower, lower, lower. People, you know, you know <laughs> what happens? And I was like, I was like, oh. And I don't know. I think she got a quote and left. I don't think she got tattooed. Uh, what happens is that girls look at themselves in the mirror while they're naked or they have underwear on, and they're like, okay, it's going to go here. And then they get to the tattoo shop. And then they realize how low it is and how much you have to pull down your pants. Because when you're looking in the mirror at home by yourself, you're not looking at how much you're exposing yourself. You're looking at where the tattoo's going. So they get there and they're like, you know, they start to pull it down. And then you could see that. You could see the moment where they're like, oh, shit, that's not where I, I want it lower. But I'm going to like show my junk a little bit. Your big, big city <clears throat> box. And I just, I just know, you know. So like. I'm like, you know, I'm like, are you sure you want it there? 
you know, f- well, the first thing I do is I'll ask where they want it before I have them pull it down. Because what happens is is they start to compromise. You know, they're like, oh, I want it down here. And, and then when they go to pull down their pants, they don't put it – they don't point to the spot they originally pointed to. So I'm like, okay, where do you want it? And then they point to it. I'm like, okay, right there? I'm like, all right. So – I, I don't I never initiate the first like grab because that's that's too much. But I'm like, okay, we need to pull down a little bit and then they start to uncomfortably do it and then as soon as they figure out that like they don't really know how to do it, then I kinda take over because at that point I'm I'm about to clean them up and then I I, I just like I kinda I pull it down like right to where it needs to go and no further but but where it needs to go and I'm like very Matter of fact about it. You know, I remember getting tattooed by you and <clears throat> in that experience. Yeah, you it's know, better. Because, like, I've only ever been really tattooed by my husband, so there's there's no... Uh, Different there's, experience. Yeah, well, no, like, there's no um, experience of what it's like to have a stranger touch me. <clears throat> except for those, like, in, first in couple... In intimate areas like except that. Except for those first couple of tattoos. And I remember you doing that when i got like my side done that you just you you just yanked it down taped it taped it and it was yeah you, i'm you know, very more, matter of fact the about more it business like <clears throat> you are that's like you know it, it kind of sucks because like you then dehumanize like not dehumanize but you know you can't be super friendly like you have to kind of be like well okay, it's not about this. being friendly it's about it's when you do that you're like this isn't awkward for me this is a job and when when the person realizes that it's not awkward for you, then they it what happens is the scenario becomes more professional because I'm not you know, back, I'm not feeling that mic up. I'm not I'm not feeling any sort of weirdness about it. So they, they don't. So I fucking pull it down and I tape it, do whatever. I'm like, All right, go ahead and lay down. You know, if it's like too much, you know, and it's really down there, I'm like, Are you okay? is this fine for you? And usually by just the moment after I do that, tape it, you know, get ready. I have her stand up straight, put the stencil on. It takes – it's a very short amount of time. That little portion of time, um, the girl is usually kind of uncomfortable because, you, you know, what's happening. But she's distracted by the fact that you have to stand up straight. And I'm like, you have to stand up straight, you know, shoulders back or whatever, get your body in line. And then she has something to do, and by the time th- that stencil's on, she's looking at – she's worried about what the tattoo looks like, and now and she feels work, comfortable. Yeah. And, and so there's like little tricks like that that I- I've developed o- over time. I'm sure you know tattooists do it in different way- ways. I'm sure some tattooists are very like – they try to make a joke about it, which can go either good or Ooh. bad. You know, um, But you, sometimes yeah. that things like that works. You, know? it's, you read the person. Um, but that's usually what I do, and you know, it, and if it is really exposed, I'm like, you know, you good? That's all I say is everything good. You good? And usually they're they're comfortable at that point. And then, yeah. man, actually, most most of the time when females get tattooed in somewhere kind of exposed in a tattoo shop, they seem pretty comfortable to me, because even if they're not very comfortable, like right instantly Mm -hmm. very very soon they become very comfortable and then even the next time they get something worked on like if it's a multiple session thing yeah especially if it's multiple (laughs) sessions it's mostly the first time that you yeah and i i think i think some kind of like it i know that's probably a weird thing to uh, say no no, i was gonna say this i was gonna bring it up because like that's that's part of getting (laughs) tattoos and modifications like that is a little bit of like I'm a naughty person through. Well, it's it's it is you're changing your aesthetic. I, I could call it vanity, but I'm not going to call it vanity, okay? Because when people are getting tattoos, it's like a hobby, and they they want to. It's like designing yourself. Ooh. So, you know, like laying down and be as long as they're comfortable. You know, if I if I can tell that somebody's not comfortable, I'll take whatever steps to make them comfortable because. That's not a good situation to have somebody uncomfortable. So they have to be absolutely comfortable. And most of the time, most people, even though they're kind of freaked out at first, it, you know, moments into it, they're relaxed and you can tell. And, and then they're cool with it. And then, there, you know, there's veterans that I tattoo that I can – you can't hear it when you hit it. You can't hear it when you hit it. Um, 
veterans that I tattoo, you know, females, they come in and they, they're fun, they're good. You know, I don't, you know, we don't try to display them. They don't try to display themselves, but they're comfortable. They're laying, they're, they're a little, depending on the situation, sometimes other people in the shop can see them, but you, you know, the other people, <laughs> the other You're people, the, the other people that are viewing them are also people that are getting tattooed and those people, what, what is that? Oh, it's what is how that? I itch my face now. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's what? so you don't. It's so that you don't mess up your makeup. Because I mean, if you like scratch your face, you your can't makeup... just. You can't just no. do that. Just you can't. That is clearly a, a, a signal. Oh, am I crazy? Am I a crazy person? That's now? a. Do you just do that? Yeah, especially. Did you, don't do that in especially, public. Especially, especially around my eyes to not spear my eye makeup. I just or have. say, oh, I have an itch. Don't just do that in public. Do you? Do you? Do you do uh, this? Do you in conversation? I do this a lot. Make eye contact with people while in conversation and go like this, because that's crazy. I'm that's just crazy. To keep this makeup looking good. Anyway, anyway, the people that anyway. are the people that are 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 viewing them that can see them are also people. Even if they're not exposed, they feel vulnerable because when you get when you're getting tattooed, you feel vulnerable because you're going through this thing where it hurts and sometimes it hurts it a shit hurt. ton. And sometimes you feel sick. I mean, it's like it's almost it, it's it's kind of a, a doctor environment to, to some degree, you know, because there's nerves involved, you know, and keeping your client comfortable um, involves you also being matter of fact. And like this is we're doing it. You know, you, you know, you're here to do it. Let's fucking do it. It's not weird. We're going to we're going to give you a fucking awesome tattoo and you're going to leave. And it's going to be in the spot that you want. And you're going to feel good and you're, you know, everything's going to go well. And people, you know, over the course of time, people get really comfortable with that. And then, you know, I have clients, female clients that show up, you know, to the shop and they're just like, you know, they don't give a fuck. They don't get, they're like half naked, you know, they're just, you know, whatever, whatever you got to do, they're on their phone, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they don't give a shit. Um, but that that's that. Next one. Who, who, what's the next one? Uh, Bert Krampus. Okay, from Manipulations. So I I just pulled up Manipulations. Oh, okay. He's the owner of Manipulations Tattoo in Salmonock, Illinois. I do guest spots there uh, pretty regularly. Hey, me too. I've done one. He, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he he's a piercer and a tattooist. He's a piercer that started tattooing, so he's like piercing piercing centric. And he does he, he does body mod stuff. Or no? No, no. He just gets oh, body he's just mod into body. stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so ooh. Uh, we have two stories here. One, self-done miatomy. Miatomy? Don't do as I do, he says. What is that? I don't know. May- maybe that's just whenever you do something to yourself. you. Call oh, it's miatomy. like a made-up word? Yeah, I think so. Miatomy? me out of me <laughs> when i was about 22 i decided i wanted a oh no it's a thing a meatomy a split on the underside of the penis head basically cut from one eight bert <laughs> what the fuck dude <laughs> bert let's have a talk <laughs> you and i need to have a talk oh my god okay so a meatomy is not a made-up word it is the split on the underside of your head Goes from where a Prince Albert goes through to the re- urethra, ah, um, and I think in the show notes we should link to some of these like body modifications that you can do if you want to click on those oh at your own God. risk. It's, it's, it makes my because skin crawl. We can't we can't show pictures on YouTube of. Uh, yeah, we nudity. don't want to get demonetized yeah. if we so, get. So de- our timer is at twenty minutes. Okay. That's annoying Ready? Ready? that we have this going. Ready? Ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. One, two. Okay. Yeah. Every time, before we go on with the story, every time I would do a guest spot over there when they were doing, like, I think they were doing, like, suspension stuff there, Mm. I'd be like, he'd be like, oh, you know, we're doing some stuff on Friday when you're here. You know, he was trying to include me in on it, which was cool. But, like, I can't handle that shit. I'll get sick. I I look at somebody hanging from their skin. And I'm like, oh my god, oh, I can't it's handle it. I can't, I can't handle it. I feel it. bad because, like, 
you know, you feel like you shouldn't, like, not like we're shunning, but like you feel no, like you it's shouldn't. No, it's cool, but it's you, just gr- You feel like you, know. you shouldn't be like, hey, don't hang from your skin. Yeah, just when everything part, about it makes me go, When you're part Ooh. of the industry, it feels like you should be like, oh, cool, you hang from your skin and swing around. That's good. That's but good. I get Please it. Please do that. No, but it is like at that one convention when they were like three in stories the, yeah, up. They were just up they, swinging they were and swinging shit. swinging like across, like, you know, you're Hooks at your booth skin. and you see them at the ceiling. And that's a big nope. Yeah, you're like. That's a big, giant nope for me. Yeah, yeah. It takes no. a certain type of person, <laughs> and I'm not that type of person. No. But let's continue the story. Okay. I flipped the hoop that I had in my Prince Albert backwards, so it was pushing the skin outward tight. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Say that again. Okay. I flipped the hoop that I had in my Prince, Al- Prince Albert. Do you know what that piercing looks yes. like? backwards so it was pushing the skin outward tight. Oh, so he was like stretching his dick with with the piercing like like stretching it out to then make an ins oh my god i need to look up what this meatomy oh looks god. like oh my god let me oh my god let me we'll, we'll provide a link i just need to know so i can picture go what ahead go ahead you can look it up we're gonna we're gonna see you know, you know what oh, that I'm makes so when I when that sort of thing just makes I'm me so it just scared. makes me. <laughs> that's the most satisfying sound in the world. I'm not getting it. You I'm don't not getting it. What that sound? No, the modification. I don't get it. Why? Would, so you're literally. I don't want to see it. I don't. I, I, you're just taking. It's almost like taking the your tongue and splitting it. You're just taking the head of your penis and splitting Ooh, it. Look at this. This is cool. I like that. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So he starts to cut. About 20 minutes later, the hoop popped out. Oh, no. Should I keep reading this? For those that are sensitive to these things, maybe oh, skip this? This is a body modification. Keep, keep hold reading. Hold your hands over oh your ears. Oh, my God. Put your headphones in <laughs> so that kids can't hear this. Um about 20 minutes later, the hoop popped out of the blood pool I had created. It bled for about one hour, then stopped. Oh. The next day, I hit it, and it started bleeding again. Oh. Once that stopped, I was all good and healed up without any issues. Oh, my God. Dude, no. You can't cut your own penis in half. Dude, don't do that. You don't can't. Don't do it. Th- don't do it. But, man, he did that. Don't even pay somebody to do it. Don't that's do it. That's some legit... That, that's... That's oh, he did it himself. Oh my god. Hardcore. That's like the pain Olympics sort of shit. Oh, the B and E pain Olympics. Remember that shit? Yeah. Where people, I wonder if it was that real. I people don't are like know. chopping their dicks off and shit. I mean, he cut. He split his dick down the center. <laughs> so maybe so those people. How did. much more crazy can you get until you're fucking chopping your dick <laughs> off? You know. You know. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so. Thank you for that horrifying oh story. Oh, God. So he's got another one? <laughs> he's got number Fuck. two. <laughs> I Fuck. don't know if we can handle any more Burt stories. Oh, my God. Okay, so number two, transcrotal experience. What is a transcrotal? We're going to have to keep Googling these things. I don't even oh know God. what kind of body modifications <laughs> people are doing. I went to Myrtle Beach to as- attend some body modification seminars by Lucas Zbira. Butchered that. Sorry. While attending the classes, I discussed getting a transcrotal by him, a hole cut and stitched through the scrotum. Okay, so it's like an ear piercing. Whoa, whoa. So it's like a... Like a hole right in the middle of your... Oh, my God. Nuts. Interesting. Wait, is it in between? I don't know. Keep reading. I got the... Why don't you Google it? I got the procedure done without any issue. The issue came a couple days later. Oh, no. Oh, no. I rolled over in my sleep and closed my legs on my scrotum and tore a stitch. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> I felt like someone had a hot skewer through my balls. I reached down and my hand was covered in blood. After uh, that, I slept with a pillow between my legs and the healing went fine. He just went back to sleep? We need to build a wall. Around Bert. <laughs> <laughs> we need to build a wall. Take take that man's scalpels away. <laughs> no more scalpels near Bert. God. No pointy object. Well, he pierces. No no blades. 
Oh my. No blades. Goodness. So did he have to like? What did he do? Like, if you tore a stitch, did he go and like get it stitched back up? That right takes then a lot. You know, that takes a lot of fucking. Hey. Will to do that? That's crazy. You almost need a lot stamina. of stamina. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is that a sound? The board? stamina. Yeah. <laughs> Just the. The stamina that he had. <laughs> I. Uh, oh, I mean, imagine going to the ER with that. Now her, her and, doing that. Something? I don't believe she does have the stamina. I don't. I don't think she would have the stamina to do something like that, or the no. equipment, or the equipment. No, or the desire. No right. willpower to do that. Right. None. I love Whoa. you. That was for you. Oh, I didn't even mean to push that one. Great, great relationship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway. Nasty. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that was oh, th- those were fucking fantastic. Uh, I mean, we need more of those. We got to do more episodes like this with more of those. Yeah, for maybe sure. we can have people call in too. Yeah, we, we got to figure get, out how to make that crazy. happen. No, we could do it. Maybe just have them call in and leave a voicemail. That'd no, we really can do idea. it. No, 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 but then we get caught in conversation, and then we're having a podcast. That's why we just, we got to keep stay on point. Okay, we got one more. Who's this next person? Kaz Piercer? Yeah, that's his Instagram anyway, right? Uh, Ooh, look, look, at the, look at this guy's fucking eyes. Oh, he's got his eyes tattooed. He's like, he's like... That, like that a, works a lot better when you have really light eyes, unless this was um, photoshopped post. Uh, let's see. Let's I see. like that tattoo on the side of his face. It's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, it's like a, you know, I don't <laughs> I like know. The, nope. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. See, that's that's sh- what I, when I walk up to a guy, if, if I want to walk up to a dude like that, that has that and be like, hey, I, I like your, your fucking, what you got going on there. And then he has nope right there. You're going to be like. Well, that's what I think anyway. I think he says nope. What it'd be hold? funny. Is it'd be funny. A shotgun? I don't. Know, maybe that's an A12 shotgun. I think they're called. Um, it'd be funny if on the other side he got hard pass. <laughs> no, wow! Look at thing. that. Oh no! So he does seem to have really light colored eyes. Yeah. That that chin thing is popular, doesn't? Um, that's pretty Chris, cool. I like that. Doesn't Chris have like the same? He's got something, like, something that. like that. Something like that. Something like that. Incredible people. You know. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> wow, that's crazy. And his eyes took it really well. Yeah. Like, doesn't Bert. that sometimes happen? Like, you tattoo your eyes and it doesn't stay? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Bert, you don't, t- it's not tattooing yeah, your eyes. Yeah, it's like injecting yeah. your eyes. Bert had that done and he got it really subtle. It's like gray. Yeah, it's just supposed to look yeah, dead, right? Yeah, which is pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. So here's a, he's a piercer. You can see some of his work here. Uh, maybe I'm going through too fast. It's just pictures of piercings. Is, I don't, you know, I guess it's for the jewelry. Yeah. Well, there you go. Gotcha. Or oh, what's this? What's it's more in interesting your to look at his fucking I eyeballs. Know, those are crazy. He I've looks like s- he looks like I've something s- from a sci-fi movie. Yeah, I've just never seen it where like I actually admire the aesthetic of it. Usually, it doesn't. It looks like choppy. This is this is two times. No, three times. Here, click that picture right there that you're hovering over. Yeah, I wonder if it's because of the light That's eyes that cool. makes it work so yeah. well. That's crazy. And and I think it's like. I think it, luck has something to do with it as far as, like, how it's done. Maybe not. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. I don't know anything about... Um, yeah, we should have... Uh, Bert should talk have about Bert that, maybe. Bert talk about that. He knows about... Yeah, but he has that. With dye. He's got a bunch of stuff. That, yeah, um, like, it, it works. Yeah, it's it does. interesting. There's also a guy, a younger kid that's got it. And I think he actually wears contacts, but he has dark eyes. I think he's, like, Asian. Maybe he's, like, Filipino or Japanese or something. And he's got black, and th- he wears either contacts or he's got super dark eyes, and the whole thing is black. He has no pupil, no nothing. Whoa, I'd like that to see looks that. really cool. Here, we can look that up while we're we're reading, reading the story. This story. Um, okay. He the, it's he's a piercer anyway. You can see. Oh, let's see. Go up. I want to see the. Oh, oh, before. This is a, wait, is this? Did, is this the oh, same so dude? he got. Oh yeah, he covered that. Oh. He covered that up. That's interesting, and it it does work better than that. Yeah. So that that was a that was a good call. Interesting. Um, but yeah, he's that, a piercer. You can check out his Instagram now. Now that's him. Now he kind of reminds me of my friend Velo, <laughs> but he, Velo is Mexican though. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's weird. So he works in Oak Forest, Illinois. 
Okay, oh, cool. So it's yeah, he had, he had, he had messaged me a while back about like I think doing a guest spot there or something. BMI but tattoo. Are they gonna weigh me? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible joke. Oh, no. no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, this will be another really good episode for people listening. Last episode yeah, yeah. and this episode are great episodes for people listening that can't see any of the photos. No, no, this one is because the the real content is yeah, these stories. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're just showing people's Instagram. Are we ready? Instagram. Yeah, go ahead. I had an older guy come in, at least 70 plus, walking cane and hunched over. He told me he needed jewelry removed. He tells me he has a PA, which is a Prince Albert piercing in the head of the penis, and a guyish, a piercing in the area between the balls and the asshole. Yes, I saw that. I saw a picture of this. I looked up body mods last oh. night. No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Um, it's not that bad. I saw the, like, I thought it sounded bad. I looked up the picture of it, and I was like, oh, that's not that bad. Oh, my God. Anyway, once all the formalities were taken care of, he comes back into the piercing room and drops his pants, <laughs> then struggles to lay, lay on the bench. Oh, this poor guy. Why is it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up. We'll probably bring this up in the future, too, but every client ever will try to get on the bed in the on the like the way it doesn't make sense like though instead yeah. of getting on from the side like like this is interesting for people uh that aren't tattoos and then people who do this uh, will probably find it funny but if this is the bed right and the legs are up like that yeah th- instead of sitting like this and just and then bringing the legs up, legs up like a human being every <laughs> client ever goes to the end of the bed and then scoots all the way back like from from the end, it's like the, both sides are open and that, free. That There's is, no sign. That's like that is literally one of the most awkward parts it's so of bizarre. tattooing. Is if you have to lay down and the person it's like, like uh, you're like uh. oh lay down, but like <laughs> don't don't tip over the bed by like sitting at the feet first. Yeah, that it, it is like, and then you're like this the whole time, like oh. yeah, yeah, and like, because like you're nervous, they're getting on it in a way that makes. Makes yeah, the makes, whole thing move yeah. around, you know, so you're like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, back to our story. Once he gets situated and lays down, I attempted the penis to get to the, wait. I attempted the penis to get to the PA and realize it's not moving. <laughs> okay, so there's some sort of typo in there. He's, trying to, we'll get, he's trying to get the jewelry out of the PA is what I think is happening. The guyish and the PA are both done with captive, captive bead rings that are interlocked? What? Like, are it, <gasps> is, is his Prince Albert connected <gasps> to between his... How it's like a permanent... Peeing? Wait, didn't you say that a Prince Albert... El, what is it? Albert. Prince, Albert? Okay, so... So the legend of the Prince Albert, and I guess this isn't true. The legend. But Queen, I think it was Queen Victoria's husband, Prince Albert, he didn't want a dick print. (laughs) And so I guess they wore really fitted trousers back then. And to avoid having a giant bulge in his pants, they pierced the head of the penis with a hoop. And then they would tailor in another like little... uh, not a hoop what would you just like some sort of loop some something hook or something something to hook the ring on so that they could then tailor the pants so that you would not see a large ball because you're or or a large bulge because your dick would be like fastened to part of your pants (laughs) so maybe this is a oh my god i mean that you're going a long way to try to fucking i know what's wrong with dick printing Exactly. <laughs> anyway, so captive bead rings are also really hard. Isn't that like there's a hole in either side of the ball and then the hoop like fits into. Like that? No, the captive bead rings. I know those are really tricky to get off. I don't know on. anything about j- a jewelry okay. at all. So, oh, that's easy. Taking the other one out from behind this page is making this easier to read. Okay, so it was, okay. The guyish and the PA are both done with captive bead rings and are interlocked. They are piercings 
that are done with a six gauge from what I can remember, which that's pretty big. Yeah. That's a big gauge. Usually, I think the standard piercing is a 14 or a 16 gauge. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a big, that's a big hole. At that point, I had to get a large gauge opener. It was a struggle to get the openers in the first ring around this old guy's legs without catching anything else. Oh my you have God. to remember the head of the, his penis is stretched all the way back to his guyish. That so, will happen. That will happen. <laughs> so his penis is literally connected. It's going... So that's between your balls... And gosh, this language so is hard what, for me. So what happens? So Just his, use medical terms if is, you feel is uncomfortable. His, <laughs> is 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 his penis like are both of his balls sitting on either side of his penis at that point? Because his penis is literally looped behind yeah, his probably, scrotum. Yeah, probably. Probably. And it's connected there. How's he peeing? How's he? Oh, you know what? I did read that with a Prince Albert piercing, you have to pee sitting down because it like. It because it's in your urethra, like it just splits up your stream, oh my so you God. have to sit down to pee so that you don't pee oh all over my everything. God. So maybe this oh. made it easier to sit down and pee if his. But then it's like pointing backwards, so do you have to like lean back? He's laying down. <laughs> okay. Uh, what happens when he gets an erection? Well, he's an <sighs> older guy, right? So he probably that doesn't happen much. Or maybe that's kind of the point. Oh. Oh, people a are lot, fucking a lot, weird. I, I read a lot of genital, which seems obvious, a lot of genital, <laughs> genital modification is done for sexual reasons. Yeah, I mean, why, you know why I mean? wouldn't it? Well, know. but not to, like, make it pretty, like it, yeah. you know. Yeah, I guess a woman could do that. Too. Yeah, because, you know, putting a little jewel at the top of your box makes it pretty. I mean, who, who's looking at their dick and going... I think that I think it'll make it look handsome. No, the Prince Albert is to help stimulate the G spot, apparently. Or mm. it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the supposed reason for that. Is okay. Man. Back to this. I managed to get the ball off and unhooked the two rings. And I shit you not, his dick shot back like a rubber band from being unhooked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so, so was so it hard it was, or was it or was it super stretched super stretched from what chris said because like you know when you're doing massages on men i mean not that sounded so bizarre what Ex okay oh. hold on hold wait on. Hold, hold on back wait. up back up beep, beep, what beep. <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> okay so when a masseuse is massaging a man okay. generally he'll get an erection and it's not that he's feeling sexy it's just our response but from what i can tell from the stories chris our piercer our atmosphere has told me people are scared so usually they shrivel up oh so i'm just saying oh. like usually i think in these circumstances they do not get an erection okay yeah. so it's dick shot back like a rubber band <laughs> after that i got the pa ring removed he explained that his dom he was paying made him get this done and even paid the first piercer to have this done magnificent <laughs> <laughs> okay so this guy had a dominatrix okay but that's still i mean that i mean it makes more sense i mean it's just that's just crazy it's crazy. Yeah, this the bitch oh, told him to do this it. This dude. Okay, we're we're totally we're, we're so focused on why, but th this guy, what's his name? Kaz. Oh, I guess it's it's on here. Um, oh yeah, that um, he's got to do this. Man, piercers. Yeah, they have to deal with way more kinky stuff. <sighs> piercers, than, man. Know, I I give it up to them, man. Cause, fuck. That's tough. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Yeah, if Could I was you gonna do be it? no, if I was gonna pierce, I would just do all the normal stuff. I would be like, I'll pierce your ears, I'll pierce your nose, I'll pierce your nose. Empty talk. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing any genital piercings. <sighs> okay, so as soon as I told him cleaned up everything up and told him he could get up. As soon as I told him that he he sat right up, jumped off the bench, and got dressed. But he moved fast. He was standing straight, holding the cane, not using it at all. He had that piercing connected for two weeks, and it was causing him to use a cane and hunched over because how much it was forcefully pulling his poor penis. So this guy has a dom at 70-plus years old. 
This is a current oh. dominatrix situation. Oh my god. Man, that dominatrix is a bad bitch. Oh my god. Making a guy killing it. Making killing a guy it. connect his dick and stretch it so far back killing that he's it. he's using a cane. And you know, you know she's just she's probably doing it cuz it's a job and she doesn't give and a she fuck. Gets paid. And she's he, she's he coming up her. with this crazy shit and she's like, "Let's see if this weird motherfucker will do this shit." She's texting all of her friends and shit. <laughs> Hey, you should see what the, I made this fucking guy do. I wonder if oh, I wonder if he has like a young dominatrix. I would assume so that you would dominatrixes. Old well, people are know. freaky. Are old people old are freaky. Dominatrixes? I don't know. I don't know. In my I, head, they're young, but like, why wouldn't there be older ones? I saw this. Uh, maybe it was like Vice or something that did something on uh, on prostitutes, and there were stories about like seventy, eighty year old couples who hire hookers to come in and, like, have sex with them. Eight, 70, 80 years yeah, old. That's legit. I mean, you how know? else are you going to get yourself a young, hot woman at that age? But but, the, but as a couple. They would do it as a, yeah, as a couple. Yeah, bored. Get some kinky shit in there. Yeah, but fuck. <sighs> Working with people is like, you know... It's one thing if you're desensitized by it because... You have a sexual desire for it because that's what happens. But when that, you know, that is when that's gone, it's just a horror show doing that. I mean, that's a horror crazy. show. It's a, horror, a show. horror show. No, thank you. No, thank you. Is that the last one? You just, yeah, it is. Okay. You just have to deal with a lot of shit as a here, sir. So the question for this um, podcast um, one for the clients. Non tattoos, non piercers. How much would it take? How much would it take? Hey, we didn't really talk about tattoos, though. We will. And, okay. How much would it take for you to do that? Even if it wasn't your profession, how much would it take for you to do something like that? And how much would it take for you to do something like that? Let's let's say let's turn it into tattooing. What's Sable doing? Uh, she's oh, at she's the, drawing. She's at the table. Oh, uh, let's turn it into tattooing. Because that's more makes more sense. How much money? And would you do it? Say, say a fifty, a sixty. No, let's let's keep it somewhat conservative. Okay. A fifty-year-old dude comes in and is like, um, "So I was on your guys' website, and I was looking at your, everybody's work, and uh, I liked Faith Johnson's work. Is she in today? Oh yeah, hold on one second. You know, Stacy. Like, yeah, hold on one second. Faith, you come walking. Oh, how can I help you? Um, yeah. So, um, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to get my penis tattooed. I don't know if that's something you would do. What would you say? Absolutely. <laughs> really? No. Um, I feel like it would be. You know, I, I. Think... You fucking whore. <laughs> you fucking whore. How no, good looking kidding. is he? How much money does it look like he gets? <laughs> My two first questions. What's your salary? Anyway, no. What, yeah. um, You're going to get paid for it, so I mean. Yeah. No, so um, I, I think for me, I feel a weird responsibility to have to do tattoos that people ask me for if I can technically do them. Yeah, but now you know? you're talking. Now you're talking. But But what I'm saying is, like, I feel like. I wouldn't be able to turn it down because I'd be like, oh, no, this is my job. Like, oh. I like I have to say yes. Like, a nurse can't come in and be like, I'm not giving you a shot. Yeah, but you could say no. I know I could say no, but I feel like I feel like what would happen is I would say yes because I would be like, oh, no, this is my job. I can't turn this down. And then I'd be, ooh. Another 20 minutes? Yeah. God, shut God, up. Why are you so, talking so we gotta, much? God, we got to get a new Ugh, fucking. Hold on, ready? Up. Three, two, one. Okay. I like how I've now joined in on that. It's a team mm. effort. Anyway, I feel like I would say yes because I felt like I had to say yes. And then I'd be in the back frantically whispering, starting to sweat. Like, oh, my God, oh my God, what did I do? I think I'd do the same thing. I, I think I would sweat, like, but I don't think I'd do it. Like, I feel like I would have to be professional. And then I would charge a buttload of money. Like, say it was... A dick load? <laughs> I almost said that, too. Um, say it was like... what? what what's the guy getting tattooed on stick? You know, something I can do, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna maybe a it. word? So it's actually, he wants it all black. Well, that's crazy. So I'm... so there's a level of, 
like you're not sure of his intentions at that point because it's not he's not putting a barber barber pole on his dick. He's not doing something funny. He's not doing you know something cliche. He's just doing it solid black. So he just wants to tattoo his dick solid black. Yeah, Why think, would you want that? I don't. I wouldn't actually think that was weird. But anyway, say he's doing a word and it's a seventy five dollar tattoo. I would probably charge three hundred just to do it. Solid black. No, if it was a word. Oh, a word. Because on doing dick? solid black is like, I mean, we got to see how big it is. <laughs> how big? Oh yeah. Is... How do you quote yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. If you're doing solid black, you don't know what's in there. I think they have to be hard, right? I've never tattoo? tattooed a dick before. Yeah, there's I no assume. way because there's no way people would be hard because. So I looked up hashtags penis tattoos, and <laughs> and when did you do that? Today. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't before we had a po- podcast or anything. Yeah, no, this isn't what I do for funsies. No, anyway, I don't know. Well, anyway, <laughs> and way more tattoos. Of penises. Lots of tattoos of penises. Very few penises tattooed. Yeah. Um, but there was one person, a picture of somebody tattooing somebody else's penis, and that guy looked like he was having an awful time. <laughs> <laughs> it looked So I don't think you could maintain a hard-on while getting tattooed. You'd be a seemed, hero if you did. You'd be a hero. You'd be a hero. Um, it make it make tattooing it a lot easier because, like, yeah, how do you? It's so soft. It's just like, and and for for me, it would be like I, I gotta touch a guy's that. dick. I don't want to touch stretch a guy's it out. Dick. Get the apprentice, make him stretch out the penis so you can tattoo it. S- still, like, I don't want to do that. How m- I, it's got to be so much money that I'm I'm leaving with a smile on my face. You know. Yeah. So it's got to if it's if it's if it's. So, you know, if it's like a little dot or like a little something, you know, five hundred bucks minimum. Wow. If it's a word, thousand dollars. Whoa. Thousand dollars. And I was only gonna charge three hundred. You hear I know. that you... people out there? I'm a steal if you're looking to get your penis <laughs> tattooed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bargain prices. So so But for... but it would also depend on if they were like dirty and stinky, because like we've had people walk through the door asking for finger tattoos that i could smell once they open the door and i don't even know if i would have agreed to tattoo their fingers yeah so there's no way i'm tattooing that guy's penis yeah so i think i think it depends problem. on you Keep know going. if that if that person just like smells and is gross seeming then i would just be like hard pass but if they seem like a clean person respectable in that manner like you're just trying to get your dick tattooed okay i don't know it's weird man and and it depends if they request me because i might be less likely to do it if they request me because then i would be unsure of if i'm being stalked or something cre- yeah creepy. you know yeah, like if i weird. was just the if they were just like hey i just want to get dick my dick tattooed yeah you were just and, the walk and up I was, or you were the up i was for the walk-ins. one i was up for walk-ins and if he's they, like lucky day <laughs> <laughs> if they came in and requested me i'd be like uh, and it depends if they're alone if they had some buddies with them i'd be more likely to say yes because then it'd be like a funny thing that they're doing if they're they had their friends like oh we go get my dick tattooed God, but if like a person a man middle aged just comes in and requests me to tattoo his dick i'd be like oh yeah, that seems th- there would be this cause seems for like concern. like a not a good situation to get into. I, I, I might, I, I don't think I would, but I don't think I'd mind having a dick tattoo. Like a, like a. I just don't think there's going to be. A, I mean, you'd have to do like something that would be like modern and like the equivalent, simple, like, the equivalent of the thing up the chin. Yeah, you'd have to do something like that because nothing illustrative is going to look good on on that skin. No, it would have to it's be. Such, Thin skin. I mean, I mean, I wonder how bad it blows out. I bet it blows out easily. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you want to tattoo my dick? Hard pass. No, if you ask me to tattoo your dick, I'd do it. Really? Sure. Yeah, why not? I'd be. You know what I'd be afraid of? Getting tattooed, lining things up, and then getting excited later on and it having things being crooked <laughs> be hilarious you'd have to put the stencil on wait a little while you know 
wait wait for wait for exciting things to happen yeah, in your like, life. Yeah, like like we you know, I would wait a while. You you could do yoga or something. And then I would and then I'd find out. And then we can get back to t- we'd get back to tattooing, you know. Maybe when we place the stencil you should just be excited. Oh yeah. Well, then I guess it doesn't matter what it looks like when it's I think we've it's gotten, all. I think we've gotten too personal now. Nah, who cares? Okay, but I have heard of a person that tattooed a gay guy's butt and charged a thousand dollars for it, and the guy paid it. Who is that? It. Well, we can't say names. Don't don't no. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Is it? It's it's not gonna work. Don't try to send me messages. You know how this goes for you. Anyway, yeah, a thousand dollars. You know, if if I knew somebody knew that they were gonna get a terrible price because of a placement of a tattoo like that, I would charge that much just to get to make that much money. I'd be like, yay! Yeah, but then for me, there'd be the added level, like, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be crazy weirded out by tattooing a person's dick. Okay, it wouldn't be like yeah. Chris doesn't like Chris is like you know, yeah. I, he I would his live through all the it. time, and he's. I mean, that's his job, but I, he's like, whatever. Yeah, I would it's live through thing. it, but it's just like I don't want. See, I it's would not be worth it. I don't know. I would almost. I wouldn't feel more uncomfortable about tattooing a vagina. I would be worried more about the conditions. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely like a dick is a dick, but. Vaginas come in all shapes and sizes and smells, and that that would be terrifying. Of like, I would feel more comfortable tattooing a woman there, but also terrified before we got started of what the situation might be down there. Uh, That might be a terrifying situation. I've I've interacted with some things. I have. I mean, interacted. It's been in the general vicinity. And it's been bad sometimes. If you come, if you come to get a tattoo, I guess if you're like of the older generation, you don't know. I get it. Okay, you don't know how tattoos work. Whatever. But if you are coming to get tattooed, you know, in that area, fucking shave it. Fucking shave it. I don't. I'll shave stubble. I don't want to shave through fucking pubic hair. I just don't want. I don't want to. She's a wild woman. It's a gross. She's free. It's gross. Yeah, I don't think I, I. I think like once you get to the point of shaving, people are like, "Oh, that makes sense." But most people, it does not dawn on them that you're going to shave the area. Like it really doesn't. Yeah. Because like men's legs are like the same thing. Like, when but you I don't to, care. I, I mean, it's not gross when you. I right. mean, it's kind of gross because it's a lot of hair. But like. It's not gross. It's just so much hair to shave off that you spend 15 minutes just shaving hair, whereas, like, it'd be a lot easier if they just shaved it in the shower that morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Stop, and, and stop trying to figure out ways I, to use I know, the Trump I'm soundboard. Sorry. I'm sorry. Let it go. I got to get a soundboard. I want to get a soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> you know okay. what I'll do? I'll get a soundboard, but they'll all be practical instead of digital. So I'll have one of those things that go... <laughs> I'll get actual all ah, those things. I see, I see, I see. I have I see. like a little drum kit over here, but then I got a mic kit. But there's a lot of, you know, penis tattoos. All of them that I saw were jokes, basically. Um, but vagina tattoos are really pretty sometimes. If you, yeah. if you get a good design and you have a good artist, um, there's a lot of really pretty designs out there. Hashtag vagina tattoos. You'll find a lot. <laughs> Um, but like a lot of people do, you know, mandalas are popular and like flowers. You got to do flower. It, you got to do flower. Flower is really nice. Well, mandalas I mean, work like, too. Like little, like, like not yeah. mandala, mandala, like mandala esque. Yeah, just something designy. Yeah, ornate. designy, ornate. Yeah, that stuff looks good. I can't imagine the pain level of that. I I would imagine that blows to get tattooed there. Yeah. Um, I would think like your actual outer labia if you got it tattooed that far would be okay i would imagine right over the pubic bone would be terrible just terrible i'd need some lidocaine but also for like 
You know, I think it would be a really cool place to have a tattoo because it'd be pretty. But I think, you know, usually it goes up a little bit onto your abdomen and then you're at the swimming pool. And then like, look, she has a vagina tattoo. Yeah, like I I feel like that sends a weird message a little bit. Like you're not trying to, you know, I'm guessing a lot of the people that have tattoos there feel sexy. You know, like they're a sexier person that's more into their sexuality. And I feel like being a mom taking my three-year-old to the pool, I am not looking to send that sexy message to anyone. Yeah, that's true. You know, but it's like, because then every man that looks at you is going, so where does that go? What's that look like? You know know what they're thinking. Yeah. Um, What else did we want to talk about? Did we have any other things on your little notepad there? Because nope. we kind of we uh, kind of went through everything, yeah. huh? We, we, that was like a kind of a good, efficient podcast. Should we keep going? Uh, it's already at an hour and seven minutes. Oh, really? Holy Whoa. shit! I well, didn't realize that. Well, it's probably that. at an hour because we like took pauses yeah. and stuff. Um, so, thanks for uh, listening to another podcast. Please like and subscribe, please, and, and hit share. the bell. Hit the bell that tell What's that the bell? the bell gives you a notification when there's a new episode on your phone and stuff okay so So, you don't forget and you can subscribe on apple Podcasts now as long as nothing has changed in between this recording and tomorrow when we release this uh please share yeah that's the only way we get new listeners and um audience questions we we want to know what you want to hear us talk about because a lot of the things that we think are you know, daily boring stuff might be interesting and you want to find out yeah. about that. Also, our next episode by popular demand by our oh, audience God, yeah. will be an introductory episode where we talk about us. Us. I've me, been me, resisting me, this me, a little me, bit. Me, our me, monitor me, doesn't me. Even work anymore. Oh, I've I've been me. um resisting this just because I feel like it's I wanted to wait until we had guests to do that to kind of talk about yourself it just feels weird maybe it won't but it just feels weird talking about myself i think also people want to know why 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 do these joe schmoes have a podcast yeah why are we doing this podcast i get it i get it yeah so you know we'll be doing that the next episode we already had this planned and paulie was way too excited to talk about genitals so he would not push it back a week because paulie really wanted to talk about genitals well i just had it my i thought it was was funny it was was great so excited it was great, Pervert. and and I just made that weirdo. fucking we, we just made that intro. Thanks again, Jimmy. You weirdo. Um, uh, follow us on Instagram. Yeah, in the show notes, we'll have our Instagram handles. Um, we'll have the email, so you can either DM us or email us questions, yeah, or topics and, that you want to see us discuss. And uh, follow the the three was it three art three people that give us stories. Yeah, yeah. So give uh-huh. them a follow. Yeah, they're, they're, thank them for well, including their hilarious stories yeah. about their hot muffs and. And if you guys have stories, you know, on this subject, or other stories, send it to us. It might become a whole topic of a show. We might just read it just because it's a random. Yeah, just like a funny segment. thing. Uh, you know, keep them coming. We've had a lot of good ideas that were uh, messaged to us from like my clients and yeah. stuff about shows. Like a lot of le- really legit good ideas that we're gonna use. Yeah, so, so we appreciate. So don't feel like it's dumb or anything. I feel like yeah, people yeah. are always hesitant to like email into shows, and no, we really appreciate it. Or just message me on Facebook. You know, find me on or Facebook. Me. Find Faith. Me, on, me, I was me. gonna say that. Me. I was gonna say that. Me. Can I fucking get to it? Me. Oh look. Me. <laughs> oh so, look, it's me. Sometimes Sable, when she, uh, <laughs> she, when we're talking and and she wants our attention, she'll just go me me. Me, me, me. <laughs> like literally, she'll say that. It's the best. She's the best. So I'd Lord. like to play. I'd like to play this again as the outro music, <laughs> if that's okay. Sorry for it, rambling. It, we need to like clean up this. It's outro. okay. It's okay. We're we're clean okay. Clean it up. Tighten it up. After we do this, after Tighten we do the up. sign off, after we do the sign off, it's all extra credit. Extra credit. Yeah, you can leave if you want, or you can hang around and we can bullshit. That's how it should be. Okay. Again, thank you for watching. Share and subscribe. We'll, we'll see you next week. Welcome to Blood Acid Oil. With Polly. That's good. And uh, today's topic is genitals. Stay home. I have a glass in my pants. Sounding alone. <laughs> oh, out. Well,
will stop sending it and just 